Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video today. And today, the former Seattle Seahawks safety, Quandre Diggs, is signing with the Tennessee Titans. The three time Pro Bowler is teaming up with his former teammate, Jamal Adams, and they'll be teaming up in Tennessee. Uh, love Quandre Diggs. He's a Houston native. Uh, from I, I live in Houston, so uh, he was a guy I, I made many videos about, about the Texans potentially signing him. Um, you know, we, I felt like we could have used another safety addition, and I liked what I saw from him in the last couple seasons. And I thought he could potentially be a good addition for this Houston Texans team, but they didn't make a move, and now we're going to see him twice this year. So he's going to, you know, be in the AFC South, but against the Titans and not for the Texans. He's a three-time Pro Bowler in his career. Uh, he's been with Detroit and Seattle, but more famous for what he, you know, did with Detroit. Didn't do a lot, or sorry, more to fam- more famous what he's done in Seattle. Didn't do a lot in Detroit. I mean, I think some good play in Detroit led him to getting into Seattle, and that was where he really blossomed. Uh, he was solid in Detroit, but he really blossomed in, C- in Seattle. Uh, this year in 2023, he did have 17 games, 17 starts uh, at free safety. With one interception, returning that for 21 yards, five passes deflected. He also had 95 tackles with one tackle for loss. 2022, he was a Pro Bowler with 17 games, 17 starts, four interceptions, returning those for 70 yards. Longest was 27 with seven passes deflected. He also had one forced fumble and 71 tackles. 2021, he was also a Pro Bowler, 17 games, 17 starts, five interceptions, 68 yards returned, and... He also had seven passes deflected and 94 tackles. 2020 was a Pro Bowler, 16 games, 16 starts, five interceptions, returning those for 57 yards, 10 passes deflected, 64 tackles. 2019 was with both Detroit and Seattle, played 10 games with 10 starts, but really the only good football he played was with Seattle in five games and five starts with Seattle. He had three interceptions, returning those for 99 yards and one touchdown. It's only one of his two pick six touchdowns of his career, um, or one of two of his only touchdowns of his career. He doesn't have any fumble recovery touchdowns of his career so far. Um, but yeah, he had three interceptions, returning them for almost 100 yards and one touchdown, three passes deflected, one forced fumble, which is one of five of his career. He had 21 tackles for the Seahawks, and that was in the course of five games for Seattle. He did have some solid years in Detroit. Five seasons in Detroit, played 65 games and 40 starts, but was mainly playing strong safety and cornerback for them um, and had six interceptions and 69 yards returned with one touchdown, but that was in the course of five seasons. He's had he, 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 he had seasons with, you know, Seattle with five interceptions, 2020 and 2021, both of those seasons had five interceptions in both of those years. He had a total of six interceptions in five seasons with the, you know, Detroit Lions. So in two seasons, in exactly two seasons from 2020 and 2021 with the Seattle Seahawks, he had uh, five interceptions in five seasons and then and then. Two seasons with Seattle, he has ten. Uh, he he's done a really solid job, and I think he's a really nice addition. Uh, you know, for Tennessee and reuniting him with Jamal Adams, this defense looks so much better going into two thousand twenty four. If you look at the secondary, it is so much improved, and I think their secondary is going to be dangerous. At the safety positions, they have Jamal Adams and Quandre Diggs. At cornerback, they have Legarius Sneed, and then if you look. You know, the defensive line and what they've had added in. They signed Sebastian Joseph Day from the Chargers. They drafted Tavondre Sweat from the Texas Longhorns. I, s- I swear I'm not being biased as a Longhorns fan. Tavondre Sweat is a dangerous defensive lineman. He's going to be amazing for the Titans. Uh, and as a Texans fan and not really liking the Titans a lot, it's going to be hard not to root for him uh, being a Longhorns guy as well. Uh, but so, yeah, they've added to the defensive line with Sebastian Joseph Day and Tavondre Sweat. They've added to the secondary, Jamal Adams and Quandre Diggs and Legereus Sneed. And also they've added to the offense and proven the offense with the wide receiver room, bringing in Tyler Boyd and Calvin Ridley. And I know they lose Derrick Henry 
but they replace him with Tony Pollard. I couldn't think of a better replacement for Derek Derrick Henry. I know Tony Pollard had a little bit of a bad year, um, but they also, you know, got Will Levis and Tony Pollard, a new left tackle, drafting J.C. Latham in the first round last year. So this team, in my opinion, I, I think in a tough division uh, with a young quarterback, they're still last in the division just because the fact that you got the Texans with their promising team with Stroud, uh, and they're, they're, they have a great squad. Uh, if they're gonna, if the Titans are gonna be better than anybody, it's gonna be the Jaguars in the division. Um, but you know there is some promise. I mean, I I'm never gonna wish upon any injuries of anybody, um, and even if it's in my favorite team's division. But I will note that the the Colts have a very injury prone quarterback in Anthony Richardson, and his injuries do scare me because it's it's like I feel like him going out there last season. I watched him. Every time I saw him play, I'm like, this guy's a really good quarterback. But I feel like every play, he might get hurt. I mean, but I'm hoping that they've found a way for him to stay healthier in 2024, even though I know he's a threat to my favorite team in the division. Um, but also, I mean, the Giants have gotten worse a little bit this year. Trevor Lawrence had some injury problems last year. That's, you know, well to note. So, um, I mean, the Titans could you know, shock some people and not end up last in the division. And because uh, the Colts, if you look at the Colts, if Anthony Richardson goes down, they're stuck with Joe Flacco. I mean, I like Joe Flacco. I know he did pretty good with Cleveland last year, but I mean, he wouldn't have that Browns defense to back him up like he did in Cleveland. If he became a starter for a team, I know he'd have a good offense around him. That wouldn't change like it, like he had in Cleveland. Uh, but he wouldn't have as good as a defense like he did in, in, in Cleveland with the Browns. So I don't know how how good Joe Flacco would be with the Colts. Um, and then with the Jags, they have gotten a little bit worse, even if Trevor is healthy. So maybe the, I, I would say it's not a guarantee that they are dead last in the division, but they are a young team. Uh, they are still a young team. Yes, they have, have some veterans around the club with Calvin Ridley and Hopkins and Tony Pollard um, and, you know, also... Legereus Sneed and Jamal Adams you could look at um but they do have young players around their team like at the most important position of football quarterback Will Levis uh most important protector for Will Levis JC Latham is in his rookie year um and even some of the players I already men- mentioned Tony Pollard's still pretty young at the running back position I know he's more experienced than some of the guys on this roster but they are young a young team and uh just in a you know, a division that I don't think is is talked about enough in the AFC South. This is a very solid division, and uh, you could see a year for the Titans where they win only six to eight games but look like a completely better team, but being in a tough division, uh, it's overshadowed. But let me know your thoughts on the Titans signing Quandre Diggs in the comment section on a one-year, $5 million deal. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.